close to life. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Okay, put on your gloves. Okay, come on, let's go. Put down. Put that down. Is loose, and I'm going to still post it. Post it. Now I hope. They are free. Okay, they're they're free from each other. You need to grab. You need to grab the back of the neck. Okay. Or up by the top of the head. Or towards the top of the head. Okay. And then hold it like that and pull it away. Okay. And we'll get this one out of here. We're pretty, um, these are two Anhingas. They, they were caught um, somewhere. They got this netting. Um, it actually looks like some rope. Anhingas have very serrated beaks. So when they grab hold of something, particularly fish, that they can hold on to them. Unfortunately, when they, when they get hold of trash, um, same kind of thing happens. They can't get away. And then probably the second one came along thinking it was something to eat and went ahead and grabbed on and then they got into a, a tug of war and pretty much almost killed each other. Fortunately, they're still alive. So we're going to try to see what we can do about getting this off. And these beaks are dangerous. They're actually, you can poke your eye out. So we're going to try to, okay, so we get that off the top of the beak and see what we can do. You be patient. You're next. And these people standing behind us were good enough to, fortunately enough, spotted them, which wasn't easy. And then at that point, they were able to give us a call and we were able to get down here. Okay, so pretty much this one is free and clear. Why don't you just step it out a little bit. There you go. And then this one's got some wounds, some battle scars here. So we are going to... ...do that. So basically, at this point, both of their beaks are free, but they're still not out of the woods yet. Actually, they are out of the woods, but... Okay, so we got pretty much all of it off. So at this point, these guys are also called, oh, these guys are um, also called snake birds and you can see by the, the long neck and basically what they do is they dive underwater 
and swim, or almost fly underwater, and they catch their prey. And then, believe it or not, these necks can expand to an unbelievable size and uh, to swallow their fish whole. Um, both of these appear to be younger ones, so a little inexperienced there, I think. And like I said, I think one of them grabbed probably that one down there, put the wings together. Yeah, just like that. And then hold her that way. Good. Um, so I think that one probably grabbed it first, and then this one, looking for a meal, um, grabbed on too. They've got wounds. You can see the the wounds on there and basically that's probably from twisting spinning maybe some of the sticks but also their very very pointed beak because we have we have to be careful that um, they don't poke us or especially towards the eyes so um, I was hoping that we we're going to be able to this one in particular is a is a young one you can see by the feathering so he's a, it's a young one um, was hoping that we we're going to be able to uh, get them loose from each other, just turn them loose out here in, in uh, Lake Tarpon. But given the fact that they're exhausted and given the fact that they've got some wounds, um, we're, we're going to take them back with us and let them, um, and let them kind of uh, re rehabilitate a little bit, a couple days maybe before we uh, go ahead and release them back into the wild. One of the fortunate things, as, as you could see where I went into the woods, it's right on the edge of Lake Tarpon, it's a freshwater lake. It's also a lake that's very, very well known for some pretty big alligators. So with all the flapping that went on, I'm kind of surprised that a gator didn't come up and, and try to get a, a free lunch. So maybe the folks that were here helped keep them away. So anyway, um, so we're going to take them back with us. Hopefully in a day or two, we're, you're going to be able to see us back out here. And we will be turning them loose and they will jump in the water and swim away. So wish them the best of luck. And thank you guys for making that call. They, they weren't gonna last much longer. So thanks.